Good evening, church. I do hope and pray that you are all doing well, keeping warm, keeping safe, um, keeping healthy, and keeping connected, keeping connected to the divine, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has died and risen indeed and has ascended into heaven. Amen. And I hope that you are also connected to one another. Um, you know, we as Christians, we are in a community of faith, a communion of faith. Um, so we can't be Christian by ourselves. We have to be Christian together. We have to live together. We need to worship together. And we need to acknowledge God as our creator together. So I want to say thank you for this opportunity for me to just share um a part of my story and a part of how God just transformed my life. Um, if I can just put it like that plainly, Jesus Christ just changing my life by by, by what we see in the scriptures. Um, so I want to say thank you. Yes, thank you so much for allowing me to, to share. Um, can I just say a short prayer? God creator, pray that the Words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen and amen. Um, so, yeah, my name is Kyle and I am 24 years old. Um, yeah, I've been journeying with the Lord um, for around about... For around about nine nine years um and throughout this nine years just becoming more aware of god's presence in my life and realizing that you know what it's it's not so much my life um it's god's life we are nothing with without god and therefore we need to surrender all and surrendering all wasn't always a a a, a part in my life that came easily I was brought up in a good home I was brought up in a, uh, a church um, but I didn't you know encounter God for most of my life I didn't encounter God until one day um, it was holiday club I think it was 2011 um, the first one and I just realized that God is so much bigger than what what I made up of God in my in my head and God just kind of touched my heart and said hey I'm bigger than that so I grew up with a low self-esteem and kind of just trying to copy everybody else um, whether it was in the marketplace whether it was at church whether it was at school I would always find a reason to not be who I am because the main reason of that is because I didn't know who I was there was a sense of longing that I had that the world couldn't give me there was a sense of longing that I had that that I couldn't kind of get from those around me but I think that was the point because no one else but God can can fill that place in your heart in your life so, yeah, it's just, I'm, I'm even just thinking about it now. And it's, it's so big because no one can fill that place that, God, that, 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 is, that is for God in your life. No matter how much you try to fill that place up, it can't be filled because it is not meant for anything else but God. So I went through you know church and just attending church and not realizing that hey Kyle you together with the with the other people you saw the church you have to be the church not go to the church and a big part of scripture that that helped me understand that that I need God that I, I need God to, to, to kind of, that, that place in my heart is, is, is God's. And I need God to see who I truly am. Because I'm 
I, I, I surrender to God and therefore I, I'm not my own, but I'm God's. So I need to realize that I am God's and the scripture or well, chapter 14, John 14, kind of just say that loud and clear. And it, it goes off with, with, with Jesus saying like to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. And this verse got me, got me really deep. It says, my father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And in my mind, I have a place. Are you telling me that there's a place for me in the father's house, in the creator's house? There's a place for me. I don't even feel that there's a place for me in this world. But at that time, I, I, I was, it gave me hope. It gave me hope to see there's a place for me. And it's not in any ordinary house, but it's in the father's house. In God's house. Another verse that con continues from that is when Thomas was like, Lord, we, we don't know where you're going, so how do we know the way? And Jesus answers very plainly. I am the way, the truth and the life and nobody goes to the Father except through me. And that's the verse that kind of changed my life. Because I understood that the only way to the Father is with Jesus. And you need Jesus in your life to get to the Father. And Jesus does something to you that that fills you. I tried filling my life with other people. I tried filling my life with what people, well, what I thought people liked about me. I started allowing that to consume me. But hey, God came through and God knocked on my heart and God let me know that Kyle Overmeyer Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And nobody comes to me except through my son, Jesus. And at that, I had to surrender. I had to surrender my life. And I can tell you the truth that after that, it wasn't that easy. <laughs> um, because, you know, sanctification and, and there's just a transformation of your life and your lifestyle... Um, it's a difficult one um, because you have to let go of everything that is old. But you don't do it alone. The Holy Spirit is with you. So it's been a journey of just letting go and allowing God just to, to lead me and allowing God to, to cleanse me and make me whole and allow God to fill that place in your life that you try to, that, that, where you try to fill that place where other things just God taking those things out and saying, you don't need this. You need me. And I experienced that and I can testify and, and stay, sit here today and witness that Jesus' love is so true. Jesus' for, Jesus' love for us is so true. God's love for us is so true. And it's real. It is real. It's not a fantasy not a fairy tale. It is real. And that is the most beautiful thing of this all because we are not living fairy tale lives. We are living real lives. And we need to know that there's a real God that is up there or wherever. There's a real God that sent down His Son to save us. And that is why I'm sitting here today. I know that this is a bit long but i want to say thank you for allowing me to just share of god's goodness in my life and um just know that that the journey isn't over my journey with god is still continuing my journey with god is still going stronger i'm i'm learning things about myself in this journey that is really it, it, it hurts because you know you're like is that me is that really me and just coming to the Acknowledgement that, yes, Carl, that is you. However, here's the Holy Spirit. Here's Jesus. And here's your Creator. 
God loves you. Send down His Son. His Son died for you. Resurrected, ascended and sent down the Holy Spirit to guide you through your life here on earth and to be with you. And I can truly say that that I find myself at a place where the Holy Spirit is really guiding me personally in terms of where I am and where I believe God wants me to go. So I want to say thank you once again for allowing me to, to share and I do hope that in some way that you guys found this found this insp- inspiring, hopeful. If not, take this from it. That God is real. That God saves lives. And that God is with you. Don't doubt that. Don't ever, ever doubt that. Thank you so much for allowing me to... to um, to share and I just want to also say thank you to the Baptist Church um, for the growth. Um, you you guys played a big part in, 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 in my development as a Christian, in my Christian life, in my Christian walk, in my Christian journey. The church and like the people used really, really um, did a lot for me and I saw what a community of faith is because of North Pine Baptist Church. So I want to say thank you um, as well and thank God for, for everything that you have been doing and what God will lead you to do um, going onwards. So God bless you and thank you for this opportunity. Love you.